What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and today's artist profile is going to be another rapper from the south side of Chicago, the Inglewood community. His name is L.A. Capone. You know, he was killed due to gun violence in Chicago. You know, allegedly he was ambushed leaving the studio. And um, that's sad, too, man. I'm going to tell you why. Before we get into that, I want to let you know that uh, I ain't trying to put too much street shit in this story. We're going to keep it strictly about the music. But in my opinion, L.A. Capone was on his way to superstardom. I mean, I believe he was on his way up there with the Lil Dirks, the Chief Keys, the Herbs, the Bibby. It was something about this guy. Even though he was young, his music made a lot of sense. A lot of guys that was in the drill era, you know, rapped about violence and thug shit. Now, don't get me wrong, L.A. Capone rapped about about the same shit but he kind of gave you a closer inside look and even though he was young the tales were graphic gritty rugged and they felt real authentic la capone was going to be a star i'm telling you guys simple as that when i listened to his music i was even hearing rumors that he was close to inking a deal with Lil dirk otl squad even though he was a member of team 600 you know i was hearing dirk was for to put him on him and rondo number nine la capone legend in the streets is big too sort of like young pappy like i said in my other hood profile i believe these guys was ahead of their time as far as the lyrics the bars and everything so you get a chance go check out la capone music on youtube you know what I'm saying? Leave me a comment. That's how you join the discussion. I'm going to be reading everything. I would love to know what you guys think about this. And subscribe ASAP.